What's up, my dirty dudes what's and dudettes? Up? You guys should take showers. What's up? Hey, what's up? It's Alex. <laughs> I'm Gerard. And this is The weekend. Wait for it. Get that first in? Yeah. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I can never imagine a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeat my alter ego, Aghanim, the Dark Wizard, twice. But I will give you- I'll never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you, make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. All right, so, let's go. just to give you a little background, I know we probably talked about this a little earlier. But Link to the Past actually takes place after Ocarina of Time in the timeline in the timeline where Link dies against Ganondorf in the final battle. And basically what happens is all the other sages in Zelda lock him away oh, man. in the Dark World, which is where he comes from in this game. Uh, and so when he when he touches the Triforce, uh when he, he's in the Sacred Realm and he gets the Triforce, he touches it and it turns him into this beast. And oh, then man. I'm not doing so great right now. And then, uh... Yeah, he uses Aghanim to come out of the Dark World, and, uh... That's what happens. So, this is like the final fight of that. Want to talk about what it's like to fight him? And whether it's easy or hard or it's what? It's pretty easy. I'm playing very sloppy right now because I'm angry. Got a little salt in me right now, but here yeah, we go. A salt should, against Ganon. Yeah, here we go. This should be a pretty easy fight from here on out. Now, now what he's gonna do is he's right now destroying the sides. If you fall into the sides, uh, the boss fight is over, and it resets to zero. It's like it's like falling in the ground below. It's interesting that they chose to like make Ocarina of Time the center of the Zelda universe. Well, it is like the hands down the most popular. I agree, but it's just so funny that like ep like the things that happen in that game like affect every other game. You're doing well, lad, but can you break the secret technique of darkness on guard? I will say there's a dope ass picture of Link fighting Ganon uh, that we'll see uh, if oh, Mark man. is so kind as to grab it from the Zelda wiki here on the Ganon page. It's a cool drawing. It makes him look so much more epic because he looks kind of like frumpy and fatty here. Um, so today's question, Oof. because this is going to be the last episode of this, and we're going to take care of our promises this episode so that we can announce uh, a new game, a and new all game that stuff. For, for tomorrow. Um, or maybe we'll just do uh, three mothers, and then... No, we can do that. No, we'll, 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 we'll start. start. We'll yeah. start it. Uh, Bam! Yeah. No fairies, no fairies, niches. No, no fairies, fairies, no fairies. No fairies, this. No, no fairies. fairies run. No fairies run. No fairies run. <laughs> <laughs> That's obviously not true. All right, this game is now. Da -da 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 -da. Pew, 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 pew. Did we get everything? We got everything. This game is done, though, and I'm sure there might be one or few things I missed. Welcome, but... Beard. I am the essence of the base. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Did you get several talks? Did you sneak in? Hello? Um, is this thing on? Where is the box? <laughs> Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and the mind of the person who touches it. This is so cool, this 3D little part at the end. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil heart person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. It grants him a secret base. Uh, you know... <laughs> so we went back and we watched the, uh... The speed run of this game, it's like 141. Because all you guys were sending it our way. Yeah, and, uh... Literally, he jumps from a cave at the, right at the beginning of the game to this room. Yeah. So crazy. You guys should go check that out. Really, really interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Is this game still, uh... It's, it's my favorite. It's my favorite Zelda. It's great. Still? Yeah. Not that Link Between Worlds? Not Link Between Worlds is better. I have to say it's better, but this is still you my just favorite. You can't get it out of your nostalgia zone? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I love this 3D effect. One of the... Earliest 3D yeah. things that like everyone was aware of. Very cool stuff. Now this was my launch title when I got my Super Nintendo. You didn't get Super Mario World? No, I got the Zelda pack. Oh Sweet. really? Limited edition SNESs came with Zelda. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
So this just goes way back. I think my first Zelda was Ocarina of Time, and then I went back and played this, because I never had a Super Nintendo. Wait for it. I was a Genesis boy. Though my neighbor had it, so it didn't matter. That's where I got my Final Fantasy fix in at first. Wait Some for it. classic imagery here, you guys. <laughs> The Return of the King. Link jumps onto a bed with all the sages. And then they sail on a boat off into the land of eternal life or whatever. The White Lands or whatever it's called. The Loyal Sage Sanctuary. I love how they have little titles for, like, the plot. So much more cinematic than the Super Nintendo Zelda. Saurasa's Homecoming. Kakariko Town. Sahasrala. Sahasrala. And they're just waving at us. Hey. The what's brothers up? and the wife in between them. What's up, man? <laughs> Vultures rule the desert. Desert palace. Such a weird montage. Deserts are like, yes, we now have homes. Heck yeah. This and is our home. Yeah, that man. That thief goes back to being a bad guy again. <laughs> he didn't learn his lesson. He falls from grace. The bully makes a friend. You mean... Uh, finally, after all this time, the bully and the thing, they, like, they look the same. That looks like Bonk. Your uncle recovers. He's fine. He got house. out of that dungeon. <laughs> he has a sword again. He gave Shink. him back his sword. Flippers, Flippers for, for sale. sale. Zora's waterfall. So weird. Hanging out with my kids. No big deal. <sighs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the witch and assistant magic shop. What it, are, are these like? Like when at the end of like a sports movie, they tell you what everything like what happens to everybody. <laughs> kind of. It's so so few words being used. Twin lumberjacks, woodman's hut. See, they're they're cutting a new tree down, and then you can take a photo. Buzzy pickles. Hey. Flute boy plays again, Haunted Grove. Ah, uh, the flute boy. The flute boy. This guy's like the most mysterious part of this game to me. Yeah, he, yeah, he's like Link. He looks yeah, like he Link. He just is Link. He like plays the Ocarina. Queen of Fairies, the Wishing Well. Especially if this takes place after Ocarina of Time. <laughs> like, what happened to the Ocarina? Yeah. Is that the Ocarina? Yeah, maybe it is. The Dwarven Swordsmith Smithery. The, dwar the Dwarven Swarven. The Dwarven Swordsman's Slimmer 3. I love that they're bowing alternating. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the Bug Catching Kid. Also the guy who ran away from you and called you a heretic. So cool. Or a jerk, I forget. So cool that the sprites have like little animations that they do. It's like, the, you know, the Nintendo... Do, like, you guys maybe don't do, realize do, do, it now, do. some of you younger viewers, how much different... I mean, you can tell by looking, but like... It, it was just as big of a difference between like PS1 and PS2 the lost as old it was man between Death NES Mountain. and SNES. This is just kind of depressing. This doesn't bode well for the old man. He's still lost? How did he get past the, the hammer? He probably just sidled through like a normal person. <laughs> the forest thief lost woods. What is with... Did you see the thing in the top left corner? It was like one of those green fishy things in like a weird outfit. The Chew? Yeah. He had an outfit on? And the Master Sword sleeps again forever. Lol. Or until the next Zelda. Yeah, lol. <laughs> Alright, so now we made some promises, so we're gonna clear them up for you. We're gonna take you to the Chris Houlihan room, and we're, gonna, and we're gonna take you through the GBA version of the Ice Palace. Uh, at least as far as we can get without playing through the whole gosh darn game again just to get there. Yeah, we'll see you guys in just a bit. Ride on! Ride. Alright, everybody. Here's the hula- it's Houlihan time. So, back in 1990, Nintendo had a contest in Nintendo Power. I didn't need that, I just thought you, it'd be cool. you just sent in your name, and they would randomly pick one, and you would appear in a, uh, in a uh, NES game. And what you had to do... Was you had to uh, find the War Mech boss in Final Fantasy and take a picture with it and mail it in to Nintendo Power. And uh, a man named Chris Houlihan, or probably a boy at the time named Chris Houlihan, uh, won the prize. And uh, so that's what happens. He got in Link to the Past.
So how this works for you guys at home is that I've read many theories. I actually watched game trailers Pop Fiction. The first episode of that show is on the Chris Houlihan room. And what it is, is it's, it's actually the default bug room for this game. The default debug room. Uh-huh. And so how you do it is it's actually an error of where Link's positioning is in the game. And it's a cause based on where his he is in regards to like the overall lineage of the map. Like if you look, I don't know how to is it X? Yeah. So like imagine a grid going across this map, right? And how it works is there's uh there's certain lines and boundaries, and this trick lets you go through a boundary that doesn't exist. And so in regard and so what it does is it just kind of kicks you back into that room. So how you do it is you have to trick the game into uh, uh, Pushing you into it. So the first thing you do is you get a bomb then this can work in really any Cave or area or hole you get dropped down to you drop a bomb it hits you Ugh. And you fall into the hole Oh, I guess I didn't do it that time. Here we go on one of these again. Oh, it sucks. I did, I did it perfectly last yeah, well, time. I, I might just have, I might have waited too long to be honest. We just with tried it out. Yeah. Yeah, I just did it a few moments ago. Apparently, um, in canon, well, not canon, but what it's supposed to be, because when you get to the room, you you see his like famous secret message, which is, "My name is Chris Houlihan. This is my top secret room. Keep it between us, okay?" And uh, apparently, he's supposed to be telep uh, telepathically communicating with you. And uh, his name's been taken out of the GBA version, uh, but this is this is still the Super Nintendo version, so it should still be intact unless they let's, removed his name let's, from the Wii let's version. Let's try it again. I might have to do like a reboot thing. Let's see if I can get this. Let's see. Let's see how to do this. Come on. Let's see. I might not have done it that time. Let's see. Yeah, boom. boom! Got it. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't have so the, So it does uh, exist. So it doesn't have the, uh, message, I guess. No, it does. Oh, it does? My Boom. name is Chris Ulan. This is my topic of room. Keep it between us, okay? Bam. Perfect. Told you, bro. Man, guys, remember that episode when Alex was like, Why did you make that promise? It's impossible. <laughs> and then I was like, don't worry about it. Remember he that? Was like, he was like, da -da 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 -da. No, And then secretly, I was just... Da -da 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 -da. Also, real talk, guys, you guys need to go watch Pop Fiction. It's like my favorite show on YouTube. Yeah, I really hope that with the game trailers buyout that that shit does not get affected, because that would be I real know. sad. Oh, Oh my god. If you are listening to this Pop Fiction, and you are having trouble, we will air your show. I will pay for it. Yeah, we will pay for that show. I will pay show. all the money. That show is amazing. So, yeah. Let us know. <laughs> Let us know if you're in trouble. We will help you. <laughs> With all of our money we don't have. We'll pay you all of our money. So, yeah, this was the Houlihan Room. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The next thing on our, our last I really checklist. didn't think we were going to find it. That's well, really I found encouraging. It. That's so, great. what up? Let's show the message one more time. Let's show the message one more time. Right, one more time. My name is Chris Houlihan. This is my top secret room. Keep it between us, okay? Tell you what, guys. Let's make this special. Chris Houlihan, if you exist still... And I don't mean... I think I remember seeing him on a forum a while back. We should... Listen, Chris Houlihan, and this is... If you hear us, if you see this message... This is for you, Chris! This is for you, Chris Houlihan. I want you to contact us. I know you're probably with wife and kids now, and you're an adult, and you've got responsibilities and stuff. But look, come down to us. We'll interview you. It'll be dope. You guys, the internet... Spread this interview around. Let's do it. Find I am ready. Find Chris Houlihan. Find Chris Houlihan. With that said, let's if, go if to- If you uh, find Chris Houlihan, we'll give you something cool as a prize. Yes, find him. Bring if, him if to us. If you bring him to us and get him to come on our show, we will give you something nice. <laughs> Making promises that we can't keep, yeah. Yeah, we can keep it. Well, if they, if, if they if get it happens, us, if we'll they get us an interview with Chris Houlihan- I'm down. Yeah. I'm so down. Put that on the promises page. If promises you get us, page. If you get us an but interview- that, with, That's all it's on you guys, it's not on us. Yeah, if you get us an interview with Chris Houlihan, we will give you, give you a prize. We will give you a prize. We will give you a prize. Alright guys, we'll see you all right, uh, Ice over- Ice Palace time, we're gonna Ice check Palace. it out. Ice Palace! Burr, 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 burr. Bingo! Here What's guys up go. dudes? Look at us, chilling on this GameCube ass Game Boy Advanced game. These changes guys, are so weird for me. The first one being that Link now makes a- <laughs> like from Ocarina of Time, <laughs> definitely it's super weird because that's what they did in that's what they did in Minish Cap too, which was the other one that Capcom uh, produced. This is a this is a port that Capcom produced for the Four Swords. It's like um, a, I'm it's not like used to these controls. These controls are backwards for me. Um, so in case you guys are wondering, um, basically 
so uh, we just took a game save that was already kind of completed, and I mean, obviously it's a little off, but uh, this is actually uh, the game save of our of our uh, of Lord Mark and Savior, Carr. Mark Carr. Oh, Mark Carr. Oh, Mark Carr. Oh, hail the Mark Carr. He happened to have this game, and so uh, we're using it right now to go back through and show you guys his temple. Either that, or I'd be playing the game over again, which was not fun to uh, conceive. Yeah, apparently, what happens in this in this level to make it better is that. There's like the puzzle where you push stuff down to the lower floor has like been simplified. Yeah, which is my biggest problem with it. Mm -hmm. But in a more general sense, there's like a bunch of different things that have been changed between the Super Nintendo and uh, Game Boy version of the game. Which is that, uh, number one, as you can see the game is kind of like a lighter, like slightly lighter in general. Just because like the Game Boy at the time didn't have a backlight. So yeah, I can it see would that. Look oh, oops. Excuse my horrible gameplay right now. I do not know what I'm doing with this controller. <laughs> but but apparently apparently also you can change the brightness to the to the uh, to the Zelda colors, the proper Zelda colors. Oh, cool! If you want, um, you can speed the text up in this version of the game. Uh, you can see a little bit less of the screen because of the screen shape being differently. Yeah, there's there's like a panning camera now. Yeah. Instead of a fixed camera. Oh, did it again! Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> um... What else? The, uh... The icons are different because of, uh... They are a bit different, and yeah. it is kind of weird. Yeah, just to make it fit on the smaller screen. And then that one, uh, was a miss up again. I gotta stop doing that. Yeah, and there's different samples. Like, like we already noticed, like, uh, Link's voice is different. But, like, other sounds have been changed because the sample rate's lower for the portable version. Yeah, absolutely, I can tell. That must be so weird that they were basically developing for the Super Nintendo, like, all the way into the 2000s. Anybody who's working on, like, Game Boy Advance games. That's weird to think about. Isn't that weird? It's like the same thing. Yeah. Look, <laughs> look at this. Even that noise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, note to self, do not play this on the, uh, Game Boy Player for the GameCube, because this is, uh, <laughs> confusing the, little, the living hell out of me. There's also a sound now when you go to the save screen, which there wasn't before, I don't think. There was, but there also- well, that's the- The good thing is that there's no longer a, um, you can save in real time now. Oh yeah, that's true. And you can also- well, because it's portable. Also, the enemies don't flash like many colors, they flash white. Yeah. Doo doo. So so far this is the exact same dungeon. I have not seen anything different. Oof. Okay. Oof. Okay. Oof. 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 <laughs> of course. Let's try and make this easier for us, shall we? There we go. Oh. Oof. Oh, great. Well, one thing's for sure. The sound is still annoying. Yeah, this is really weird. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Me I feel like neither. Maybe, I feel like maybe you're just like fighting your way through the ice dungeon again. Is that really what this is? Like, it's they just, didn't even... I really hope not. We're gonna find out as we get to the end of this. It just seems like it's the same... Well, we're gonna find out. I mean, so far, it, this is one for one the exact same. Yeah, this is so... Like, the screen's a different size and the different colors, and you can... He sounds like Young Link, but that's like it. Oh! Oh, damn it! Well... That fixed it. <laughs> I think him. that's all you had to offer me. You're all worthless. Oh, good evening. Good evening, gigantic thing. Oof, go away. Go away. Okay, so now we know that. Oh, oh, God! I was wiping my nose when that happened. It's okay, guys. We got fairies. You know what? You know I keep prepared. That's rough. You know that. You got. You guys know. You know, right? You know. I know. All right. I'm glad you know. Yeah. 
Oof, later, man. <laughs> you already have that, so there's no point. Ladies and gentlemen, so hope this is different. Okay, yeah, this is different. Just um to go ahead and clarify. Celebrate with the uh, the Bombos victory dance. Yeah. So uh, here's the difference. In case you guys haven't figured it out, um, let me just kill this guy to get the hell out of my way. Okay, so traditionally, how this is uh, this designed, and Mark, if you have that episode, you can you can show this clip. Um, essentially, this white like L-shaped thing is one is going around on both sides, and the orange here is where the two blue are on the other side, and it's ponied off. So you have to decide like, oh, now you don't have to go back all the way around yeah, through. Yeah. So, which is what we were actually roasting it about. Yeah, that was the problem. That, yeah. So I'm glad they fixed it, um, in this version of the game, because it just makes this, the rest of this so much easier. Yeah. Uh, I think that fixes my one problem with this level. Great. I think, yeah, I mean... Oh, this is different too. This is way different. Yeah, th this room's not even there. It's, this is the room where you, I don't know if you remember, you drop down to this room, and you push the one block you'd push down into here. But now you don't have to. But now I don't have to, but this is a different setup. Like, how do I... How do I get across? Maybe there's something in here I missed? I'm not gonna be a bunny for you. No. Bunny man. I'm a bunny. I wonder why, how, I mean, maybe because I solved the puzzle? Maybe I'm supposed to pull instead of push? There's not really a I don't know. I, I, in this. I honestly don't know. I, I I'm not familiar enough with this dungeon to like know exactly how it worked last time. All this room was last time was that there was nothing in this room, and the only thing that was here was a switch in the center. And you had to push the two blocks into the room to push the switch on top of it. But I don't know how to get in here past this point. Go up? Maybe you gotta do something in that new room. No, this is a fairy room. No, the new room. The one up here. No, this is to get to fairies. Watch. Free falling for fairies. Gonna get me some free falling fairies. See? That's not what I meant. I meant go back up to the other different room. Oh, maybe there's oh, something. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. I think I figured it out. Okay, yeah, I know what to do. I'm so dumb. So much easier. So much easier. Look at this. You don't have to go this way. All you have to do, Alex, is lift up that block. The big one. That's all you have to do is lift it up. No pushing, nothing like that. You just lift up the you block and you're it. done with it. So That's I have to, so, I have to... So much easier. It's like not even a puzzle anymore. It's not a puzzle. This room, this whole... You literally just clear. You clear it. Whew. That was close. Yeah, you literally just pick up the block and you Move walk it underneath it and you're done. I can't believe they made it that easy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the change, but I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Oh. But they changed it, but you still have to do that thing of going back in the circle of it all. Huh. Okay. It's not nearly as- it's still the same- it's still the same puzzle then. Yeah. It's still the same puzzle, never mind. It is the same puzzle, it's just that instead of pushing a block, you lift up the block and you walk under- you walk into the hole. Oh, I'm so dumb. So it's a little bit easier. It- honestly, it's the exact same. You just don't push anything, that's all. The difference is that instead of pushing a block, you- you jump off the center with yourself. Why would they change that? Because it's just, like, it doesn't make sense, you think? Maybe. You think it just has to do with, like, maybe people didn't realize they needed to push a block in the hole? That could be it. That's so weird. Yeah, because now we're gonna hit that. Go down here. And you just do this. You, it's the exact same, yeah. Oof, 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 oof. Just run up this way. Up this way. These guys are like now teal, they're not blue. It's weird. Yeah, they changed a few uh, enemy colors because of the palette. There's like some palette swaps and stuff going on. Which so now we're gonna go left, which I always forget to do in this step. Oof. Come on. 
Ooh, oh. close. That clam. <laughs> now we fall down. Later, man. Later, man. We fall go right. And boom, here we go. We pick this up. And we fall down. <laughs> we are now in this area to which we just continue the quest. So it's faster. Uh, it's the same thing. The puzzle has not changed. It's faster in that you don't have to... It's, it's Take now the time to push a block. It's now one step instead of two, yeah. I mean... Yeah, but it's like you're already going to be there anyways. Yeah I, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, it's not really a change. It's just a change in, like, communication of what you have to do, pretty I, much. I guess, but really, there's no change at all. Do you think that's it? Yeah, I mean, this is the boss right here, but there's no boss, so... All right, well, should we... I guess that's it, guys. You all saw right. it. So, this is the last thing that you're going to see, so should we announce what game... It's next week. The game now? for the game for it's the game for tomorrow actually. Oh yeah, that's right. Tomorrow's it's only Saturday. Game, um, <laughs> tomorrow, I feel like everyone's gonna groan maybe because it's. It, Why? I picked it. Um, what? It's one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Everyone hates on it. Um, I saw when 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 the Grumps started. This is one of their first games they played. Yeah. And it drove me crazy seeing them play it because they missed so much. Um, no, no disrespect, boys. I love you. Uh, it's Mega Man 7 for the Super Nintendo. Boom. So starting tomorrow, fresh yeah, hot new episodes of Mega Man 7. And before we go, we're going to show you the awesome thumbnail. Later, man. Later, man.